Welcome to today's video book notice. I'm Jonathan Algren, one of the editors here at Books at a Glance. As I give you a quick preview of another solid resource from Glossa House, I would like to ask you a question. Do you enjoy studying Hebrew vocabulary? As someone who has walked through with many students the joys and struggles of learning Hebrew, I can assure you that Hebrew vocabulary is rarely one of the joys and always one of the struggles that students have. When addressing the challenges of memorization, a key principle that I have advocated for time and time again is that we should seek to diversify our delivery methods. What does this mean? It means that not only do we look at the vocabulary word on our Hebrew grammar and our flashcards, but we also say the words out loud to ourselves and we write them down on paper and we act them out in the classroom and we say them to our family at home. This resource from Glossa House provides us with another natural method of diversifying our Hebrew vocab intake. What they provided here with the picture Hebrew flashcards and also the according to their kinds biblical Hebrew picture dictionary is another method of learning Hebrew vocabulary that fits with the natural way that we learn language. We can actually read the Hebrew vocabulary and we can say the vocabulary word while we're actually looking at a really good depiction of that Hebrew word. One of the best things about both of these items is that the artwork is phenomenal. Not only do you see the images that truly stick in your mind, but they're also enjoyable to look at. With some of those more difficult verbs to represent, they also do a quite creative and clear job of also presenting those. An advantage of the dictionary here is that you are provided with an English gloss at the bottom of the page, as well as an example verse in English from the Hebrew Bible. If you're waiting for an excuse to jump into Hebrew or you're looking for a way to brush up on your Hebrew vocab in a new and exciting way, I encourage you to pick one of these up, maybe both of them. They don't necessarily replace the need for traditional methods of learning Hebrew vocab. Yet, th yet these resources have proven to be a great supplement to helping Hebrew words stick into the minds of struggling Hebrew students. I hope you enjoy.